Hi, I'm Liz from Clean and Organized, and today I'm going to show you how I organize my filing cabinet. Now, recently we updated our filing cabinet and we purchased this product called the Freedom Filer. Now, this has been a real big lifesaver and has helped us um, to be able to create and maintain our filing cabinet very, very easily and simply. Now, I purchased this product from online from um, the US, I think it was through Amazon, and it was about 30 odd dollars, maybe a little bit more for shipping because um, I had to get it to Australia. But what you get are all these tabs, and um, this is just an example of how you can fold, um, how you can file, but I'm going to show you how I've done it. So, here we go. As you can see, very nice and pretty and very organized and very functional. Let me show you what I've got. In the front, front section are my green files. Now, these tabs are specifically for um, sort of um, things that are going in and out on a monthly basis. So these are, I have my energy, utility energy, my phone, my water, bank account statements, and um, post office statements. So these are um, filed biannually. So at the end of the year, I will take end of the financial year, I'll take these photos out, the folders out, and I'll replace with them with the green ones down the back. And so I'll keep them for a two-year period and then re-shred um, them and then um, start again. So that's how, what I do with those ones. The light blue are my tax documents. This makes it really easy, easy to maintain for um, tax season. And I've got here, I've got tax, general tax documents, I've got my income and forms, deductions and gifts, deductions, other and work expenses. So um, I put, um, put all the documents throughout the year and when it comes to tax time, I can just grab it out easily and um, get, it, get it ready for the accountant. Now I can archive, um, once I've done that, they don't re-go re -go back into the filing cabinet, they become archived in another place in the house. The orange tabs are for things that are going to be replaced um, constantly. Now these are, these are things like your policies um, for any insurances that you might have. So uh, we've got rental management, we've got insurance home, insurance health, insurance vehicle and insurance super, uh, and superannuation. So instead of keeping um, a, do a policy or a document that gets superseded all the time and then you have a big file, filing cabinet full of updated policies, it just needs one. So when the new one comes in with your next statement, you take the old one out and um, you can and you put the new one in. So it just keeps things just maintainable, easily and um, easy and accessible. The red tabs are your permanent files. So these are ones that you do need to go through regularly, but not um, to make sure that it's um, to make sure that you're not keeping things that you shouldn't. But these are the things that you won't throw out. So things like um, certificates and IDs, we've got career folders. I've just, um, to, to label, help label them, I've put a clear, la my clear label maker tab just beside it so I know whose fold it is. Um, education, health, um, dental records, investments, um, vehicles, vehicle servicing, um, we have lots of warranties and manuals, so to help um, find things with ease, we've got warranties for furniture, computer, tools, kitchen, TV and AV, vacuum, miscellaneous apparel and memories. So things like um, old yearbooks or something like that, that you sort of doesn't really have a home or a place. So is there a way that you file that um, I don't know about? Let me know by leaving a comment below. And don't forget to check out my website, um, cleanandorganised at wordpress.com. Bye for now.